I honestly don't even know where to start because, like, so much, like, went on up until this moment. I mean, I guess we could start with my low. Um, I actually, pretty obvious, it's like after 10 o'clock this morning when I'm doing this video. So, pretty late. Got a late start. I was feeling lazy on a Sunday. And that and I went to bed stupidly late last night. Um, with that said, I obviously got a late start. I tried cleaning up my apartment quite a bit. And I had like a, see, whenever I make, whenever I take photos, you know, I try and, you know, email them to myself via my phone so I can, you know, have them on my computer where, uh, you know, my foes will be safe forever. Especially when there are foes of two certain individuals who I'll get into momentarily. I just had basically trouble trying to, like, get all of the photos because I really want to make sure I have them all, which I counted 12 and I got 12, so after some trial and error, I got it. And that is collectively my low. My high, on the other hand, though, is so much more than that because yesterday we celebrated my nephew's birthday and it was wonderful. Nephew's is, nephew's is, oh. my, my twin nephew's birthdays. So that, that's what, that's what we celebrated yesterday. And just being around them is already a high in of itself. It's the best possible high I have in my life at this point. Not that there's any, not that there is nothing else in my life, but with places like Rita's closing today, the Switzerland and up Lake closed last night. That was a shell shock for me. I actually wanted to kind of go there final evening, but honestly with the way the world is, it's, you know, kind of for the best. So, um, to the good people at the Switz who may or may not be watching this, or if you're a fan of the Switz, you know, you like going there a lot, you know, Obviously, and again, yeah, obviously the good people who work there because, you know, most people have jobs and, you know, they support their family and loved ones. You know, that's how they do it. You know, I hope that you're, in spite of how crazy this year was, yesterday was a wonderful day to end out on. The weather was beautiful. It was like 70 degrees out. My mom actually yelled at me for wearing the wrong kind of shirt, but I'll get into that in a minute. Like, yesterday was a really nice day. So... With the fight, with the Swiss last day being open, you know, I hope the good people at the Switzerland Inn are doing okay. You know, hope you have a wonderful winter. And here's to hoping that I'll be there, you know, for Polar Bear Plunge 2021. Because I was supposed to do it this year and, you know, the world turned upside down, as we all know. So, yeah, so I do plan to do the Polar Bear Plunge. If we're allowed to have it. I'm hoping we're allowed to have it. I'm hoping like, I'm hoping 2021 is just like a gigantic do-over. I really like that place. I mean, I'm not asking for perfection, but at the same time, if I got like even half of like what I was supposed to get this year, it would already be a much better improvement over this year. So yeah, in terms of things to do, things to have, you know, parties, etc. in terms of what I mean, where I say things that I want to have. Not to say that there wasn't anything I got this year either, but it was substantially less than normal. So, right, I'm, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. So, um, yesterday we celebrated my nephew's birthday, which was wonderful, you know, it was, uh, myself, obviously, the mother and father of my two nephews, aka my brother and my sister-in-law, my parents, my sister-in-law's parents, and my sister-in-law's sister, um, and my grandparents. Really, really small. Nothing too, um, too, uh, nothing too extravagant or anything. Um, in terms of the uh, food, we were given, um, they, uh, we got, uh, pudgies. We got uh, one sheet pizza of uh, sausage, peppers, and onions, and one pizza, a sheet pizza of uh, pepperoni. Uh, I think we got uh, 40 wings, uh, 30 medium, and uh, 10 of them were uh, barbecue. Which, it's pudges, it's gonna be good. Um, 
other food we had, my mother made a gigantic salad, which, come on, who's gonna want salad? No one had any of the salad. Um, I actually brought uh, two of those tiny jars of pickles that I made. And, uh, you know, we had some of those. Um, there was a bowl of chips, just regular potato chips. But um, outside of the pizza and uh, my homemade pickles, there were actually uh, two crown jewels of the um, of the meal of what of the food we had. Oh, my uh, my sister in law also made her famous buffalo chicken wing dip. I mean that's awesome, but that's not what I was about to talk about. Um, actually, I have a friend who also makes really good. Well, actually, I have another friend who also makes really good buffalo chicken dip. We have to get together and have a taste test. Um, right. Anyway, um, with that being said, the crown jewels were, um, see, I've said, I've shared this before. My sister-in-law is half Irish, half Filipino. Her mother is 100% Filipino. And obviously she makes Filipino dishes. There's one dish that for the life of me, I can't remember the name. It had like cabbage and shredded chicken, shredded chicken, shredded cabbage, like cooked, um, really thin noodles. That was very good, but um, the best thing that my sister-in-law's mother makes, and it's so good, I get, here's the thing, what I'm about to tell you is so good that if wings didn't exist, it might very well be the hors d'oeuvre in my full course menu. I'm being serious, it'd be up there. I mean, it'd be up, right up there with the likes of, uh, definitely popcorn would be a contender if wings didn't exist, but that, that, that's not here there. See, my sister-in-law's mother makes the best egg rolls ever. I am not even kidding. They are that good. And like, it's so sad too, because like a couple of years ago, I was on a huge, like, I was on the Sriracha bandwagon. I was, and I was, and I never, and I always want to have Sriracha with her egg rolls. That would have been amazing. Maybe someday. I mean, I don't hate sriracha anymore. I just have, I actually haven't had sriracha in quite a while. I mean, if I, I mean, it's not like I got sick of it or anything. I just, I wanted to try other stuff and I guess sriracha kind of fell the way. So, I mean, there was a time where sriracha was hugely popular. I'm not even kidding. Like, you saw it like everywhere. And for good reason, it actually did taste really, I remember liking it quite a lot, actually. But the fad sort of kind of, you know, died. Not that, not that I think sriracha is bad. I would try it again if I remembered to get it. That's another thing. I just gotta remember, I gotta be in the mood to get it and I have to remember to get it. That's like one of the main reasons why, like, I haven't made stuff like mac and cheese in a while. Because, like, I'm just not in the mood for it anymore. Then again, I did have it a lot, like, during the summer. I was stupid like that, but yeah. So, now you know the, um, the intricacies of, uh, of, of things that happened yesterday. But, uh, yes, and for dessert, um, um, uh, my, uh, brother and sister-in-law got, uh, two miniature cakes and, uh, cupcakes from, uh, Annabelle's Bakery. <clears throat> in uh, Market Street in Corning, which, with, man, now I said before, B Sweets has the best red velvet and the best carrot cake I've ever had. Unless, I mean, again, stuff like that is subject to change, but for right now, B is the best red velvet and carrot cake. Annabelle's, easily the best vanilla and chocolate. And I do believe Annabelle's also did uh, my cousin uh, Hudson's birthday too. And they did like cotton candy, vanilla, and like orange creamsicle. So those are good too. So, I just recommended two bakeries at one time, B Sweets and Annabelle's Bakery. Go to them, please. They, they're local and they could use your business. And that is my act of kindness. Oh, actually my act of kindness was the gifts I got for my nephews. I got them like um, a sort of like play set that transforms to like a kid's basketball hoop, but can also transform to a soccer goal, which is actually very, um, very, um, very fitting because my brother played soccer and basketball when he was in high school. So, yeah, it actually makes sense I got some of that for the boys. And there was something else I got too, but I forgot. 
And plus, they also made the pickles. And, you know, I got them, you know, cards. I'm a very loving uncle, okay? And that was my getting the gifts for my nephews is my act of kindness. So, wow, that was a long intro. Good morning and happy Sunday, everybody. Um... I guess there was, there was anything else I wanted to mention is, here's the thing, the party was at 3 o'clock yesterday, and normally, you know, my family goes to church at 5, at least my father and I would go, but, you know, my father is, you know, obviously the grandfather, so he has to, you know, stick around. I mean, I was free to go to church, so, so I did. You know, I wanted to represent the family in any way, plus... The, com the community of uh, Corning has seen my father and I go to church at the St. Mary's in Corning so much that I guarantee, like, if one of us didn't show up, something would be wrong. They would probably have to send out a search party. So, uh, you know, it kind of thought on me to go. Which, you know, it was fine. Went to church. It was nice, nice and peaceful. After that, I uh, visited my folks last night, watched a little bit of TV, watched a little bit of uh, Clemson and Notre Dame. And uh, diners, drive-ins, and dives, and hometown. Yeah, just yeah. Saturday nights. I mean, again, even though I can't really go out because, again, the way the world is working right now, you know, I'll just hang out with my folks. I mean, they certainly don't mind. You know, watch TV, relax, have a laugh or two. That's really about it. So yeah, nothing. Um. Nothing out of the ordinary. So, yeah, with that taken care of, how about we get into uh, my NFL picks for today, shall we? All right, I remember to be smart this time. I have my computer mouse way over here, right next to the camera, so I can just reach over and grab it. Okay, so, um, all right, so the games today, we have quite a few. So, obviously we do have part two. Um, today, one, first we have the Texans and the Jaguars. Both teams really aren't doing so well. But I think the Texans are a little bit better than the Jaguars, so. Yeah, I'm picking the Texans. The New York Giants at the Washington football team. Yeah, I'm picking the Washington football team. The Giants are terrible. I really think Washington may hurt over the division from the other one the nose. That'd be interesting to see. How awesome would it be that the year that Washington changes its name, that they win the division? It definitely would make for a good story. Uh, let's see, the Ravens and the Colts. Pfft, the Ravens. That one's, that one's not even remotely difficult to decide. Let's see, the Lions and the Vikings. Ooh. You know what, the Vikings actually just got a big win over Green Bay. And even though I never would like to count out Detroit, they are not Green Bay. So, Skull Vikings. There we go. Okay, uh, the Bears and the Titans. <laughs> the Titans. I do believe the Titans just came off of a big loss. Yeah, they did. So, uh, yeah, I think Derrick Henry's going to run all over that defense. So, uh, yeah, I'm picking the Titans over the Bears. The Panthers and the Chiefs. The Chiefs. They're at Arrowhead, so I know I have a friend who's an avid watcher who watches, who watches these who watches these videos. Who's a Panthers fan? Sorry, bro, but um, Pat Mahomes is gonna Pat Mahomes is gonna win. I'm sorry to say. Um, okay, so this is actually a big game: the Seattle Seahawks and the Buffalo Bills. The Bills are on fire overall as a team. I mean, actually, if it wasn't for the whole bye week and COVID thing, both Seattle and Buffalo may very well have the exact same records. Yeah, Seattle is 6-1 and one and Buffalo is 6-2. and two. Maybe, some, maybe one of the two teams had a bye week. I don't know. But this is actually a very difficult game for me to decide. I mean, you have Russell Wilson who... It is easily making his case for why he should be the league MVP. He actually made a bit of the case last year until Lamar Jackson showed up. But if I'm picking anyone to win the MVP this year, it's Russell Wilson, hands down. And I like Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson is actually a really cool guy. So I have no problems with that. With that being said, 
I can't not think of Buffalo in this. This is tough. Because I know that even though it's going to be a small crowd, the Bills Mafia will definitely represent in a big way, as they always do. I mean, I live in upstate New York, ladies and gentlemen. I know exactly how Bills fans operate. So, it'll be a big game. In fact, you could very well potentially have the Super Bowl in this game right here. I mean, again, one's the AFC, one's the AFC. But, my heart of hearts always tells me to pick the underdog. And even though Buffalo is playing incredibly for how they normally do, I would still consider them the underdog. So I'm picking the Bills over the Seahawks. Let's go, Buffalo. And they have a pretty firm hold on the division too, so we shall see. The Broncos and the Falcons. Um, you know what? I have family out in Colorado. I'll pick the Broncos. Why not? I mean, I think of that one sentence where I'm like, oh, the Denver Broncos. I think the Denver Broncos is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Well, explain why it isn't. You just don't understand football, Marge. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I'm picking the Broncos over the Falcons. See, the Raiders and the Chargers. You know what? I actually do plan on the Raiders sort of being a wild card team. And this is definitely a must win for that to happen. So I'm picking the Raiders over the Chargers. Um, the Dolphins and the Cardinals. Well, the Cardinals, I do believe, just had a very big win, didn't they? In recent memory. Yeah, I'm picking the I'm picking the Cardinals over the Dolphins. Although, I wouldn't mind seeing the Dolphins make a wild card run. I think they could. But I'm still picking the Cardinals. Steelers and the Cowboys. <laughs> Listen, I'm not going to mince words with you folks. My Cowboys are absolute, utter garbage. I'm not even going to try and argue with that. I'm numb to it at this point. And we're playing the only undefeated team left in the league. 7-0. The Steelers are 7 now. How am I supposed to have any hope for this? How can anyone have any hope for this? Well... I stick by my Cowboys no matter what. I already said I'm numb to it, so why not? I'm picking the Cowboys over the Steelers. But, you know... Seriously, I'm so numb to it, you can make fun of me for being wrong about this game, and I won't even care. I really will not even care. So, yeah. I'm picking the Cowboys over the Steelers. Feel free to... Steelers fans, if you're watching this, Feel free to make fun of me. By all means, I won't mind. I will not mind. Um, the Saints and the Buccaneers. You know what? Tampa Bay is at home. I'm going with Tom Brady and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this one. I just get the feeling like the Saints aren't really the best like they could be. And a lot of people know this is about Drew Brees. Normally when a quarterback throws a football, you know, it's pretty, pretty effortless, right? Drew Brees actually looks like he's putting like every single thing he has into the throw. And that's good for making big throws, but it looks like he's doing that all the time. That can really wear a guy out. So, I'm picking Tampa Bay over, uh, over the Saints. And, uh, yeah, those are all the games. So all my picks are as follows. The Texans. The Washington football team, the Ravens, the Vi Stole Vikings, the Titans, the Chiefs, Let's Go Buffalo, the Broncos, the Raiders, the Cardinals, Go Cowboys, I say reluctantly, and the Buccaneers. So those are my picks. Feel free to agree, disagree, however you like. And uh, now you're with my day. Even though I've already killed a good portion of it already. Like, favorite, share, and subscribe button. Follow me on social media. I'm turning you guys on YouTube. I'm here at home with me this video. Probably you guys are watching Jordan today. It will be a wonderful, wonderful um, Sunday. And wherever you guys want to talk to channels with me, you're going to be able to react. Take care and make good choices. You know, before I forget, I, for I think I may have accidentally rambled over what I was going to say earlier. 
Basically, what I was trying to allude to earlier about church, going to church after the party is that, and this is why I like to have dinner after I go to church. Because if I have a, because if I enter church on a full stomach, I'm just not going to be into it. I can't even, if you will. But I could even with making videos. Take care.